had my time again, I, I probably wouldn't get married. I've had a happy life. I love my husband. I know he loves me, but in his particular way. I don't know how to explain it. I really don't. It's really incredible, the, the, you know, to think back and think what, what you could have been if you didn't get married, you know, uh, and what you are now. And uh, he said to me, and uh, I've got him back, so we'll get back to you in a couple of minutes. Summer is a bike ride on the way to anywhere or nowhere. Ride the future together with an engagement ring in white gold, and he won't have to sell his mag wheels to pay for it. Only $250 from Artcast. Artcast, first floor, 283 George Street near Wynyard Station, and next to the Roxy Theatre, Parramatta. With Leanne, it was really bad news. I didn't really want the child, although uh, until oh, about a month or so before she born, then I realised that I was going to have a child and I accepted it and I wanted her then. And it took me 18 months to get used to the fact that I'm here to stay until such times when I'm there at school and I can get a part-time job, even if it's at a sandwich bar, making sandwiches from 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock, you know. At least it, it's something I can get out of this place. This place is four walls, you know, and it's a prison. And I can imagine some women could, would climb up the wall, but, you know, you've got to learn to control it. Don't play with that, Leanne, that's dirty. Hopeless, child. When are you going to talk properly? Yeah, I believe you. Have your mouth. <laughs> Gamble. Come and help me. Come on. Don't play in that dirt, Leanne. Oh, yuck. How would you like it? You tidy the whole house up, right? Clean it. And those kids come out and go zoom, zoom, zoom with everything. And you come home, tear off your clothes, leave them on the floor. You know, everything's just bleh again. And it, you feel, you yeah. feel like you, why should I clean up? Well, that's the same with me. Oh. That's your job. And if yeah. I don't, what if I did that with my job? What if I just sat down for three days and didn't do anything? And, and but I, I can't get fired, you see. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you don't get paid. She has an on and off days, yeah. um, most of the time good, yeah, terrific, but like everyone else you get slack, yeah. don't you, yeah. yeah, and she needs a kick in the tail. Leanne! Is this much? Yeah. Oh, no. Leanne, you're going to have to go and have a look at the I love him to be at home. That'd bore me. Yeah, it may bore you, but yeah. I think it would be fantastic yeah. to be able to sit down and have a conversation without, you know, him saying shh, shh, you know, like this. Why yeah. does he say shh? Oh, the TV's going. <laughs> <laughs> My pastime. Yeah. Don't you know that uh, a lot of men come home, sit in their bed chair and watch TV <laughs> and tell their wives, oh, talk to me in the commercials? <laughs> That's what I get. What do you think about that? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm, a lot of people relax by, I don't know, building model aeroplanes. I relax by watching TV. It's probably because of the stupidity of the thing that uh, I get a re it just relaxes me. I can sit there and watch TV all day if I could. Touch. Hi. Hi, Baba. How are you? Uh, 
in the description. Okay. I'll wait for that description. Thanks, Wendy. Leanne, don't touch. Come on. I hate taking them. Uh, it's good that I'm taking them when I'm going to sleep because I don't get the frustrated feeling. Uh, anything like that, Amatel, um, which I had to take for blood pressure, anything like that makes me very frustrated because I can't do what I wanted to do. I'm a very fast sort of person when I get going and for something to make me dopey, I get cranky. Yeah. 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 That's it. Oh, yeah. Right. Thanks very much. Oh. Come on, Tim. Well, he gets the car. She can always get it whenever she wants it. With a bit of a fight. Yeah, not a fight. You... Uh, no, no, <laughs> it, it's true. We hardly fight. We have discussions, but we don't fight. But, you know, it, if, if I want it for shopping or anything like that, it's not important. <laughs> first real holiday I had oh, since we've been married, I think, was um, last September. We went for nine or ten days. Mind you, I still had to feed the kids and do the washing. It was my first holiday too. Oh, come on! <laughs> you go on your bike trips. What yeah, you well, you get, you get, you know, what do what, I do? You get the car for a week and do what you like. You know? Oh, a big holiday. Oh, great. Right. But it's just great. Uh, you don't have to get up and think, oh, I've got to go to work, or, geez, the kids are screaming, or anything. It's beautiful, just to relax. And it's only five days or nine days, whatever it is, and just to get away and just be by yourself, not by yourself, but be with a bunch of people you like, and they're blokes, you know, it sounds like the Ocker thing, but that's basically what it is. It's the Ocker thing. It's terrific. It's a battle, isn't it, son? <laughs> You've got to be clean. something horrible because it was incredible. I, I just couldn't cope anymore. Never mind. One, two, three. We're all in the same boat. 
We really are. You don't think so. You think you're alone until you can get out and meet somebody. This is what I think half the problem is with, with the, the women at home. They're too frightened. They've lost their independence. They've lost their go. and the nerves in my throat have tied into a knot and the doctor said it'll take a long time uh, for these the, the muscles in my head to loosen um, these muscles and you know nerves in my throat to loosen up again but it's a definite big lump there it's not your Adam's apple it's a definite lump oh, did he, what did he give you for it? Valium they make it more dopey than anything else you know you sort of don't know what you're doing half the time, you're just going around in a day. Instead of yelling at him, I used to just clench my teeth and I pushed all my teeth out of place. So this is one reason, you know, the dentist says, well, there's nothing wrong with your teeth, you just got to go and see about it. So I went and saw about it and I was put on Valium. And uh, instead of just yelling after that, I found that I just really wanted to screw his neck. I thought, well, this is no good, so I just had to overcome it and screw the place down and that was it. As they come home, if you've just been screaming at the kids, you can't sort of click off and think, oh, hello dear, how are you? You know, you go, oh, how are you? You know? And you think, oh, I'm going back to work. You know? I said that. Yeah, my husband says it work. nearly every day. <laughs> Poor thing. I would shout and rant, both at the children and John, I find I took it out on him. Yeah. Sometimes more than I took it out on the children. By the time he came home, I had just had it, and I'd go for him. And I used to think I was a terrible person because I did these sort of things, but I find now that I'm not that strange. I think it is a woman's way of relieving itself. I'm on pork, mm -hmm. Jules on brandy, yeah. This is like alcoholic. <laughs> but you've got to have at least one or two drinks. You know, I, I like my, you know, drink. It seems to do more for you than anything. <laughs> when you get so depressed that you want to take down children, you don't want tablets just to make you dopey. You want help, you know, so some suggestions of how to get out of this. And some form of counselling is probably the, the answer. And I think maybe more women should be involved in these sort of things who understand. What, because women's problems are much different to men. They just don't understand. Your mind, you know, plays a lot of funny tricks. It really does. Your mind can tell you any part of your body what to do. Um, and, and you may not know it, subconsciously doing it. And, you know, you've got to get down to the nitty-gritties. Why is it doing it? <laughs>